Um, a few follow-up questions from Marsha, please. Um, Marsha Dunn, Associated Press for Jessica. Over at Pad 39A, um, how's it shaping up for the test firing for the heavy, and do you have a date for that yet? So it's uh, progress is moving right along. Um, yeah, so we're getting it ready for the first Falcon Heavy static fire. So the static fire is scheduled, targeted to happen before the end of this year, and then the launch will happen about a few weeks after that. I'm sorry, the delay for this launch, did that impact no. all that work? No, nope, we did have some, you know, we do have some shared resources. Um, but final activation of the launch pad is a little bit different than the work we had to do for 39A to get it ready for the three boosters, the three boosters, the three boosters, the three boosters, the three boosters. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft, filled with science and supplies for humanity's research outpost in low Earth orbit, the International Space Station. You know, what we're seeing there is our Falcon 9 rocket uh, and our Dragon spacecraft, and then we're seeing some of the uh, initial tests of the Re reusable version of Falcon 9 that is capable of taking open landing, taking open landing, taking open landing, taking open landing. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Taking open landing, taking open landing, 